all the fronts that we discussed. First of all, I want to point back to an article that was posted February 22nd of this year about high housing prices hitting a 10-year low. As that's happened, and you see the median home price from 2007 dropping down to 2012, what you'll generally see is a number of leading economic indicators showing where the housing market is going before prices bottom out. Back in February of this year, I talked about how they hit that low, and I, and I believe that at that point we're really waffling along the bottom, waiting for you know the, the numbers to start to turn and, and see a nice recovery. You're going to see how that has absolutely unfolded this evening. 30-year mortgage rate falls to a record. I mean, it's, it's amazing to see how interest rates have been so low for so long they're not going to be able to sustain themselves. Now, how long have we got? I don't know. Have we got another year, another two years? Maybe. <clears throat> Whatever it is, there's certainly going to be an adjustment upwards. Because right now, investors, especially international investors, are looking for a high, higher rate of return. And if they can't get it in this country, they're going to go other places. So interest rates have got to bounce back. The other thing is, is that inflation is uh, certainly taking hold of the pricing structures for goods and services in this country. And one of the hedges against inflation is always to raise interest rates so that, uh, you know, it kind of helps to stabilize that, that process. You're going to see it happen. We don't have to worry about it right now in the immediate future, but trust me, it's on the horizon. So you need a sense of urgency about taking advantage of the low interest rates and the opportunities we have in real estate right now. Let's talk about the housing market bottoming out. I love this article. This is the Wall Street Journal. It says, the housing market has turned at last. The U.S. finally has moved beyond attention-grabbing predictions from housing experts that housing is bottoming. The numbers are now convincing, and they are convincing, and they just continue to get better month after month. Take a look at this one. On U.S. home sales up 12% from last year. 12%. That means if you had a $100,000 house, well, it's gone up twelve grand. If you had a two hundred thousand dollar house, you made twenty four thousand dollars in appreciation. And, and you know you can do the math and continue to move forward on that. Now, did that happen in every single market? No, but that's the average of what took place on DataQuick reported for the last year. Twelve percent. There are some beautiful things that are taking place in the real estate market all across the country, and now truly is the time. Here's one of the best indicators: year over year changes in the in the uh, Case-Shiller home price indexes. This is what everybody looks at because this is kind of the, uh, you know, the, the oracle of all truth when it comes to real estate. <laughs> and uh, you can see that as we move from 2012 into 2013, we right now are seeing a sharp correction. Prices are coming back and the market is definitely moving in the right direction. <clears throat> so. You need to pay attention to the Case-Shiller Index. Notice also back in 2007, 2006, the end of 2006, a lot of people say, okay, when did the real estate bust really unfold? When did the bubble burst and, and market prices start to decline? It actually happened the end of 2006, if you take a look at the Case-Shiller Index. What's interesting about it is, is though, even though this index was warning everyone to get out of the market, or to adjust their strategies in the market. So few individuals were ever paying attention because they were caught up in all the emotional hype. I want to make sure that you're given solid information with the right kind of research backing it up so that you can make intelligent, informed decisions. Right now, we're moving in the right direction as prices are rebounding. Housing starts are coming back. This is another thing you got to take a look at. More signs of a housing rebound. <clears throat> I love this. This is from CNN Money. It says, a recovery in new home construction appears to be underway with significant increases in both housing starts and building permits last month, according to the Census Bureau. Pay attention to these numbers in the next paragraph. The housing starts rose 9% in June to a 760 rate as permits polled for building new houses. The highest level in four years, that's up an impressive 23.6% compared with a year earlier. Permits to build new homes fell slightly from revised May numbers to 755, but were up 19.3% compared with June 2011. Why are those numbers important? Well, because in this country, there's a lot of builders that have gone out of business over the last few years. 
those builders, many of them have moved on with different career choices. They're not coming back to building. They're doing other things. We have a real shortage of new construction in this country. While 760,000 building permits sounds impressive, the average historically for the United States is upwards more close to 1.2, 1.4 million new housing starts each year. So you can say that we see that we're way below the historical average, but we're starting to see, you know, that new construction rebound take place. Here's another article talking about new construction coming back. <clears throat> How, uh, housing starts in June, highest in four years. Basically, what I've just shared with you, and, and helps you to better see that yes, indeed, taking place. About home builder confidence. Home builder confidence on the rise. Now, this is from the National Association of Home Builders, and this is their sentiment index, taking a survey of all the builders that are out there. Well, what are their thoughts? You can see, judging by the orange line, now the, the, the blue line is, is single family starts. The orange line is the home you know, uh, builder's sentiment. It's, it's what they're thinking is taking place. It's their optimistic view of what's taking shape in the marketplace. So you've got to take a look at this and go, okay, builders are getting back in the game. Um, <clears throat> some are never going to return, but those that have weathered the storm are now really starting to enjoy the the fruits of their labor and their sacrifice, and they're coming back in a big way. How about equity? Here's another thing that a lot of folks aren't really taking a look at. Uh, this is from Bloomberg. It says, Americans see biggest home equity jump in 60 years. 60 years. Now, what was creating that home equity jump? Well, some of it is appreciation that's taking place in the marketplace. But it's also individuals' desire to refinance, take advantage of the interest rates that they currently are dealing with, and pay down their mortgage. There's an emphasis right now in the marketplace on paying down your mortgage. What does that do for us as investors? It creates future op opportunities for us. Why? Because where there is equity in a deal, just because there's equity doesn't mean that these individuals sometimes are going to fall into some difficult situations, become distressed sellers, and need to to uh, find a solution through an investor to sell their property. If that happens, that brings back opportunities for the Subject 2 market, which are also coming back right now. Subject 2 is probably one of the easiest ways for you to go out there and acquire real estate without using any of your own money and any of your own credit, while, while uh, keeping the original homeowner on the mortgage using their credit. And as you make timely payments going forward, you're able to maintain and improve their credit so that they're in a better position. It's a win-win when you understand what a subject to deal, a real solid subject to deal is all about. But you gotta have equity in the deal if you're gonna capitalize on it, and that's why this slide and this report is so important to us, is that there are great opportunities coming to us in the future. Now imagine this, that these individuals are refinancing their homes, they're locking into those 3.2, 3.5, 4. Um, interest rates, <clears throat> imagine what that's going to look like two, three, four years from now, and interest rates start to climb, and now you're looking at actually using their seller financing to get better rates than you can get from the banks. Folks, now is the time to learn how to capitalize on these strategies because there's so much opportunity today, but trust me, there's going to be plenty of opportunity in the future if you know what to do and how to capitalize on it. Here's another thing, home equity. This is good. Home equity rebounds, another article talking a little bit about what's taking place. The 700,000 homeowners no longer underwater on mortgages. This talks uh, points principally to what's taking place with uh, home prices improving and appreciation. 700,000 homeowners no longer We're going to printed like that in the uh, months to come. I, uh, I went in and I updated my stats. The U.S. population is still continuing to explode. Here's the newest from the U.S. Census Bureau and USA Today. <laughs> the USA's soaring population right now, at least as of this afternoon, we're at 307.